I look like a witch today, um, and may drop out the back of me. So if I give birth to a microphone, um, look out for that. <laughs> uh, two rounds, basically, because the first, first round, you are... Uh, don't to get 60 stars. You've got nine questions. The goal is to get 60 stars. So the more stars you get, um, so you don't get eliminated. You've got a few chances that you can get a few wrong. And then if you make the cut at the end of nine, then you're going to move into questions 10, 11, 12. Then uh, we've got 250 bucks sitting in there. Is this American? Says uh, Delilah currently. Yes, it is. But I'm from New Zealand. Wicked witch from New Zealand today. Uh, here we go, guys. It's question numero uno. Question number one in NFL football, how many points is a touchdown worth? Is it one, six, or ten? I am having to clench my buttocks so tightly <laughs> so that this microphone doesn't come out of me. <laughs> You know what? I think it makes the show a bit exciting, Pemberton, that we're all like, she may give birth to a race. George Clooney or Matt Damon? Got some Cowboys fans here, some Saints fans, Panthers. Pemberton is saying the Otters because he's doing a wee nod to not enjoying organized sports. <laughs> um, uh, what is the answer, guys? Who has never played Batman? 289 of you got it right. It was Matt Damon. Matt Damon. I've uh, got some New York Giants fans in the house as well. Some Panthers fans, more Saints fans. Uh, okay, congratulations to the 289 of you who got points on that one. Remember, guys, the faster you vote, the more points you get for each one. Here's question number three. The Mona Lisa was painted by an artist from what country? Japan, Italy, or Mexico? Clark Raven is a Rams fan. We're in LA, so we should, by osmosis, be Rams fans as well, Patriots as well. We have two LA football teams, the Rams and the the other team. <laughs> I don't even know who the other LA team is. Does anyone know in the chat? Chargers, that's it. Yes, you're right. Never mind, we figured it out on our own. No need to help us, guys. Uh, here is the next one. The answer to that one was Italy. Here is question number four. Which of these was an original M&M color? Blue, orange, or green? An OG M&M color. And can you guys taste the difference in the colors? I don't really think you can. I think it's all up here. Now, there are a lot of, uh, I don't know what artist it was. It's like Beyonce or someone like that, that they had a rider, which means before they go to a venue, 
they list a series of requests and there was a story that whomever it was only wanted brown M&Ms. And the reason most people are like, oh, they're so picky, they only want brown M&Ms. But apparently it was because they actually had a long list of other things that they really needed for safety in their set and their setup. And uh, they knew that if they went in their dressing room, there wasn't brown M&Ms, then probably a lot of other things would have been brushed over. So that apparently was the story behind that one. Here's question number five. Thanks, Kim, for additional facts. Uh, which of these uh, which of these is the title character from Hayao Mazaki, the film? Is it Bark, Hal, or Mew? Hayao Miyazaki. Thank you, Raul. Oh, we've got incorrect answers. Was that a good howl? Thanks. Uh, it was a good howl, wasn't it? Uh, 290, if you got this one right, it was the howl. It is uh, Howl's Moving Castle, nominated for an Oscar for Best Animated Film. Here's question number six. Remember, you need 60 stars, guys, at the end of nine. Good luck. This court case centered on teaching evolution in public schools. Was it Brown versus the Board of Education, Rosenberg Trial, or the Scopes Trial? This is nuts. So, uh, Scopes, uh, a high school science teacher, was arrested for teaching evolution to his students in 1925. That's insane. Arrested. What? Because <clears throat> I think a lot of the churches, maybe not in America, I'm not sure of the answer to this, uh, were obviously um, schools were church and had church kind of uh, intertwined in them, but I didn't. I didn't know it was that recent as 1925. Here's question number seven. All right, this board game changed its rules in 2013, adding fire and ice tokens. Is it sorry, clue, or risk? To anyone who in the chat is trying to argue with us on science, I wouldn't go there. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> a word of warning, you will get slammed by literally the smartest man that I know. So be very careful there. Tread carefully. Uh, 248, if you got this one right, it was sorry. It was sorry. Now, uh, if you're down under in New Zealand, uh, you're like, what is Clue? We call Clue Cluedo. In America, they call it Clue for some reason. Here's question number eight. Which word was not invented by Lewis Carroll? Bedazzled, chortle, or mimsy? Oh no, Queen Bennett says this isn't my fave game. Why not? Are you not doing well? I want you guys to get your hands on cash. Remember, we are, I believe this was eight. I believe after, is it eight? What are we up to? Pemberton? We're on eight. We've got one more to go, and then we make the cut. Remember, you need 60 points, guys. I believe in you. The answer for that one was bedazzled. 226 of you got it right. Oh, Rashid says, I'm definitely out. Stargirl says, I don't know this one. Maybe it's eight. These are some insane questions, says Prairie Prairie Kitchen. I agree. Here's question number nine. Okay. Which of these rodents has the longest average lifespan in captivity? Chinchillas, the naked mole rats, or lemmings? The longest average lifespan in captivity. Chinchillas, naked mole rats, or lemmings? Oh, man. This might be a big payout. A lot of people are having a cry. Julian's having a cry. Don't have a cry, mate. You'll be okay. What in the world are lemmings, says Stargirl? Give him a Google. Give him a good Google. Lemmings are quite adorable. The answer, though, was the naked mole rat. Does he know he's naked? We're not sure. Uh, 164 of you got it right. How many of you made the cut? Because we're about to move into these three final questions. We've got 250 bucks, guys. We're going to split it over the three of them. Here we go. Question number 10 for those of you with 60 stars. Our first one is a $50 question. And which of these is, uh, which of these is not considered an uh, invasive species in North America? The lionfish, tumbleweed, or the white-crowned pigeon? Not considered an invasive species. Tumbleweed's quite funny to me um, as an option. 
to the 33 of you who are like, oh, it's not that invasive, it just happens when there's uh, big gaps in dialogue in movies. Uh, the answer, though, is a white-crowned pigeon. 139 of you. Whoo, Sunbun says, yep, this is why I'm out. No, no, here's the next one. Question 11. Another $50 question. Which character in, Di in Diane Setterfield's novel, Once Upon a River? Which is a character? Is it Henry Daunt, Henry Taunt, or Henry Staunt? The character in Diane Setterfield's novel, Once Upon a River. Do you know the book, Pemberton? Never heard of it, he says. Dun dun! The answer was Henry Daunt, 87 of you! Woo! Okay, here we are. The final question to those 87 of you. My heart is with you, my thoughts are with you. Breathe in, breathe out. Jay Balmer is giving you a rock star sign in the chat. Here it is. Question number 12. Alrighty. Which state's flag resembles the flag of Ireland's patron saint? Patron saint. Is it Arkansas, Alabama, or Massachusetts? It resembles the flag of Ireland's patron saint. It's meant to be a variant of St. Andrew. What is the answer? It was Alabama. 68 of you. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. We can celebrate for a lot of reasons, you guys. Why? Pemberton's birthday tomorrow. So make sure if you're playing games tonight, you send him some love. Send Raul some love because through both Raul's and my peer pressure, Pemberton has done something that he said he wouldn't do. Read a book that I don't know if he's spoken to Raul about yet, but it is on Sundays on HBO. It is Game of Thrones. We're slowly capturing him in the nest. And most importantly, I want to thank the waistband on my underwear for allowing the microphone to stay wedged in between my dress and my underwear so I didn't give birth to a microphone in this show. It's been a great night, guys. You know, we can celebrate the small wins. Uh, I'm Kim Crossman. You guys have been great. Uh, Igor is going to be up next. It's Film Frenzy. It's all about 60 classics. I'm Kim Crossman. I'm the witch of the day. I love you guys. We'll be back very soon. Bye.